Hi, so here we are in the tea house and the tapas area. Let's see what's the difference between the canonical house and this kind of tea house. Will they eat dim sum here as well? Let's go find that out together. <laughs> Oh yeah. Click the subscribe and like button now. Your support really means a lot to me and motivates me to create more amazing content for you. Thank you so much. Out here we are. Visiting the city. We are in Lhasa right now, largest city in Tabat area. What is the best way to get a taste of the local culture? You can ride on this Rex Trail like us. Oh. Wow, here we are. And I wanna highly recommend us to go into a local tea house. I was curious. Is Cantonese tea house with dim sum, BBQ pork bun, spring bowl popular for Tibetan people too? Let's go find that out together. But before that, I still have a special mission to go. We find some interesting local things here and we decided to give it a try. Can you guess what is it? But it looks something wrong. Think I'll pour that one. I'm here to taste the rich cultural heritage of the Tibetan woman in their hairstyle, just like what I'm doing now. Braid my hair with colored threads. Isn't it so pretty? Other than easy to take care of, hairstyle can also use to distinguish whether you're married or not. Do you know how? Tell me in the comment box below. With all the tourists wearing the local costume, it makes me feel like more immersed. Do you think this boy is really enjoying photo taking? Hi, so here we are in the Tabat uh, tea house in the Tabat area. Let's see what's the difference between the canonical house and this kind of tea house. The tea culture in Tabat can date back to the 7th century when tea was first introduced to Tibet from China. A tea house is not only a place to drink tea, but also a place to socialize, relax, and have fun. Let's see what food I can find in here. It's very, very crowded here. Everyone just sit next to each other. Should we do the same thing? <laughs> But firstly, let's find a seat. How about that side? I feel like the people here is just really sitting totally next to each other without any any space. I think the only excuse here is to find the right spot and have a seat. the atmosphere here is really lively and cozy. You can see people chatting and laughing, both local and tourists mingling together in harmony. The tea house like this is really a great place to experience the authentic Tibetan culture and hospitality. It's made from black tea leaves, fresh milk, and sugar. I think it is that's more like a Starbucks area that people will socialize here and chat with each other or just chill for the afternoon. 
and it's just very nice to have this tea here. It's definitely much cheaper than a coffee in a, any coffee shop. It's just one RMB for a cup of new tea. If you're looking for a place to chat with the local, place to chill, experience the local way of life, come here next time when you're in Tibet. Click the subscribe and like button now. Your support really means a lot to me and motivates me to create more amazing content for you. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye bye.